Greetings faculty and welcome to another WIS technology tutorial. Uh, today's tutorial is a follow-up to my previous video regarding using Google Forms uh, on the iPad to collect uh, student work. And in today I'm going to show you how to recreate that scenario. So step one, um, and you might want to actually grab some tea or something because this could be a fairly lengthy explanation. It's very easy to do, but I want to be very thorough in my explanation. So now is a good time if you are thirsty. Uh, go ahead and get some tea or some coffee. Okay. So step one is very easy. All you need to do is create a new folder where you want your student work to essentially land. Okay. So that means when it's submitted, it has to go somewhere. So we need to create a folder. And I'm just going to call this one student work and I can see that here in my uh, Google full Google Drive I do see a student work folder so that's step one step two is I need to submit a template uh, to the the Google Doc uh, uh, template gallery now here's how you do that. You just create a normal document. Okay. And what I'm going to do is basically format it in a way that I want it to appear when it's delivered to me. So at the top I want to see the student's name. So I'm just going to put the name. Below the name I'm actually going to put an image. Let's see, we'll insert an image. I'll see if I can find the one that I used yesterday. Here we go. And I'll resize it so it actually fits a little better. Okay. And then below the image, I'm going to add um, the the questions. So here we go. I said, what do you see? I can format this any way I like. Let's say maybe we'll make this in bold. Okay. And uh, below that, I'm going to put in uh, what to do you think oops and then below that what do you wonder okay so our template isn't done just yet um, I'll get to here in a minute I guess I forgot to put in a title see think wonder okay so my template is nearly finished. Um, what I need to include are, the, what are what's called merge tags, okay? So these are these little arrow things right here, okay? Those are merge tags. So what I'm going to do is put in a couple like that and just put a name. And I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to put a couple more merge tags. C. Now the reason I'm doing it is that this sort of code is going to refer back to the spreadsheet uh, where all of the form data is delivered and it's going to pull it from there and dump it into this Google Doc. Let's just think. In here, uh, I guess it, I could leave it in bold but we'll do it like this. Okay, perfect. So now uh, let's just give it a name. Um, test form. Test form one. And now, 
So right now, this is only a Google Doc. It's not really a template yet because we have to submit it to the gallery. So the way you do that is you can just basically close out of it and now what we want to do is locate uh, let's sort these by last modified so we can find it easily here it is test form um, but what I'm gonna do is actually click here and under the more tab there is submit to template gallery what this is going to do is it's going to make it um, available for others at Washington International School to use. So I'll submit to Template Gallery. And I'll just give it a description. Uh, see, think, wonder, template. And you have to pick a category, unfortunately. There's nothing really that really describes this, but I'll just put presentation designs. We'll keep it in English and we'll submit the template. Perfect. So let's review what we've done. We made a folder to collect the student work and we've created a template um, for the document that will be created when a student presses the submit button uh, on the form. So now we actually have to go create that form. So once again, back to Google Drive. And let's go to Create. And let's create the form. Okay. So I'm just going to pick this magazine style. It's very simple. All right. And I'll give the form a name. See, think, wonder. And the first thing I need to do is choose a response destination, okay? So this is where my answers are going to go. And typically what I do is create a, a brand new spreadsheet the first time I do this. So I'm just going to create a spreadsheet that's called See, Think, Wonder. Create. Perfect. So now, what's our first question going to be? Well, typically, if you want to know who's submitting the work, you're going to want to ask for the student's name. So um, it's not a multiple choice question. We're going to change it to the t a text question. And up here, I'm just going to write name. We're going to make that a required question. And here, we can add another item. Okay. And because the rest of our answers are going to be a little bit longer um, to answer, we're going to choose the paragraph text. Okay, so now we're going to ask the question, what do you see? Okay, that's also going to be a required question. I'm going to add another question, what do you think? Make it required. And the third and final, or the fourth question actually, is again a paragraph text. What do you wonder? Again, required. And at any given time, we can actually pop in and take a look at what this will look like on the web. So we can do view the live form. Here we go. Um, notice it's missing one important detail, um, and that is the actual image below the title. So we can actually go back to our form here. and insert an image. So let's just go up here to insert image. And I'm going to again locate that image I just had uploaded to my template. So here it is. And it's completely visible, which this is fine and done. Now let's take a look at our form. So here we are. Um, this is the form that, whether you're using a computer or an iPad, um, it's, it's basically going to look the exact same. So students would type in their answers here. This is Richard. 
I'm really not taking time to think about this. Just filling in the text. Okay. And then I would hit submit. However, that nice little PDF that um, we saw um, is actually not going to happen on its own. So before I actually hit submit here, uh, we need to go back. We need to go to the, the spreadsheet. In other words, the responses. And we need to insert what's called a script. And um, this shouldn't really intimidate you. It kind of self-installs. Um, but this is where the magic happens. So to insert the, the script, what you want to do is go to Insert. Select Script. And then in the gallery, there's something called Autocrat. Okay, if you just search for that, um, it's the one here on the bottom, version 4.3.2. And you can just go ahead and click Install. Now you're going to get this little warning about how this requires access to your uh, various Google applications. And go ahead and grant that authorization. Close the window. Now notice along the top now of the spreadsheet you have a new menu item which is called Autocrat. Um, go ahead and click that and you want to run the initial configuration. So step one is to select a template containing merge tags from your docs, okay? Well, this is, uh, of course, the template that we just uh, created, okay? So Test Form 1. This was the one that we just recently uh, created. So I'm going to select it. Great. The next question is to, or basically this is confirming the merge tags that are available in that document. Now notice there's the name, see, think, and wonder. So this is actually, it, it's a workable template that we can use with this script. So we're just going to save the settings and move forward. Now, step two. This question asks, where is the source data coming from? So in our case, we only have two sheets. Um, we have this Autocrat README sheet, and then we have the form responses. Well, our answers for this form are being collected in the form responses. So go ahead and click Save for the form responses. Now, this, the, the set merge conditions, okay? This is actually, it's very useful. Um, it's optional, but highly, highly recommended if you want this to work the right way. So what this is asking you to do is how to d determine which data from your spreadsheet should be brought over to your Google template. Okay, so why is this important? Well, if every time something is submitted, um, it might recreate the same document multiple times. And all we really want is to do this one time and then have it be done, okay? And the best way to do that is based on the document merge status. And what this is, is basically this remains This remains empty um, until a merge has been um, executed, okay? So, my wife. So, what we need to consider is we only want this merge to happen when this, this cell is empty, okay? And this will make much more sense when I show you uh, the spreadsheet itself, but in order to tell it to only merge when the cell is empty is we need to type in null here. We'll 
will submit. Okay, now this is where we kind of play the matching game. So we need to uh, take the column, essentially, from the spreadsheet and match it to these tags that we created in our template. So obviously we want uh, the name tag to be name. Okay. The C tag, well, we want to link that to what do you see. And we want to link the think tank to what do you think. And then we want to link the wonder column to uh, what do you wonder. And we want to save again. Great. Now we're on to step five. I know this is a lot, um, but if you go through it just slowly, uh, step by step, it'll all make sense. Okay. At the top here, these are some variables um, that we can include um, in, in, these, in these coming options. So what the first thing we want to do is we want to save uh, the merged files to documents. So what this means is it's going to create a Google Doc um, for the student responses. Um, this is great because you can edit it, you can provide feedback, you can make comments on it, and so on and so forth. So we definitely want to do that. We're going to save the merged files. And now it says, well, where do you want to save them? Save them. OK. So we want to save them now to that folder we had created. Okay, so we are going to look for it was called student work. And we're going to put it in there. And now the naming convention. How do you want to name that file? Well, what makes the most sense to me is to take the student name. So I'm going to do dollar sign name. And then I'm going to do a space and then the date that this was actually submitted. So I'm just going to use the dollar sign and then the current date. Now notice I'm just pulling this dollar sign cur date from up here because this is telling me that I can actually use this to pull information. So the name of the file is going to be the student name and then the date that um, the work was submitted. And again, I want to create a Google Doc. Okay. I also want to save links to these Google Docs in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to check that box. And to be sure that I get it, I'm also going to have an email sent to me. Okay. And I'm going to put my own email address here. And for the email subject, well, uh, I, I could do simply assignment from, and again, I can pull from the, this list up here. Assignment from name. And just a, a brief message, this short note to recipients. This is actually a note to myself. Uh, so, so I could do, for example, dollar sign name has submitted uh, their assignment. Okay. And now it's asking me for the attachment type. Well, if I don't need the PDF, I could actually just you know, receive it as an editable Google Doc. Um, but if I really like the, the PDF, um, that's fine too, since I know there will be a Google Doc that's already put in my um, student uh, in my student work folder. Okay, so we're almost there. This button here, trigger merge on form submit. So basically this means that this program will execute immediately upon hitting the submit button. So it's going to, when you hit submit, um, it's going to scan the spreadsheet, and in particular that document status column. 
And if there's no nothing in there, if it's an empty text, it'll process that line and create the Google Doc and PDF. So I'm going to press that and click Save Settings. Now this is the last step. Um, I could run the merge now, but I don't have anything in, I don't have any responses, so it's not going to work. Um, it'll just give me, you have nothing to merge um, message. So I'm going to click not now, just keep my settings. Great. So let's go back to the form. Okay, here we are. So this was just the bunch of text that I, I put in this to fill in these blanks. Um, I'm going to click submit now. So the form has been submitted. I'm going to go back to my responses. Now, look what has happened here. In the document merge status, it says a Google document has been successfully created and a PDF has been attached to an email to this address, which is my address, um, at this time. Okay? Now, of course, I can go into uh, my email really quickly. And I also have a Google, a Gmail label set up to uh, catch these. Um, well, I guess not for this one, but you could set up a label to catch all of these assignments here. And, and this is the PDF that has been created. So there you have it. I know it, it seems like it, it's a little intense, um, but once you get in the hang of it, it, it goes really fast. I literally did this on my own in less than 10 minutes. Um, it took longer to do this because I, I wanted to explain thoroughly each step in the process. But um, uh, feel free to, you know, to give this a try, even if you're not using iPads in your room right now. Um, this works well with laptops, computers, or just as assignments, uh, uh, to send home because basically all the student needs is to be able to access a link to that Google form. Uh, the rest of the work happens behind the scenes. So I hope this has made sense to you and um, I look forward to hearing stories about your successes and challenges with this. Thank you for listening. Bye.